Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today we're going to sort out the problem of Windows automatically rebooting itself after updates. Keep watching to find out how. Okay, so on today's video we're going to take a look at how to prevent Windows from automatically updating or rebooting itself after a Windows update, which can be an absolute nightmare for most of us. But first of all, a quick word from our sponsor. So today's video is sponsored by the guys over at premiumcdkeys.com where you can save big on software. If you want to get yourself a Windows 10 Professional license key, a retail one or an OEM, or maybe you just want to install Microsoft Office on your new shiny PC that you've had for Christmas or Thanksgiving, then this is the first place to try. At the moment, if you're buying during the Black Friday period, then you can get 7% off. So there's 7% off this whole week. But if you're buying after the fact, then you can use the discount code MU5 or Mike's Unboxing 5 and get 5% off your order. Okay, so let's get straight into the video. So first of all, we want to prevent Windows from restarting itself. Now you can do this by changing your active hours so that Windows will actually still reboot itself automatically, but it'll do it outside of a time where you're actually most likely to be using your PC. But if like most people, you use your PC at very random times. Uh, you could be working through the night or you could be working early hours of the morning. You don't want active hours to uh, conflict with your work schedule. So let's take a look at a registry fix so we can actually control or disable when Windows does its restarts. So what we need to do is to change a policy or a flag in the Windows registry. Now you can do this yourself manually or you can add it via using these uh, strings that I've added to notepad documents. These will be listed in the video description below, so you can quite happily cut and paste them in. So I'll show you two ways of doing it. So one way of doing it is to do it from how we've got it here. So if you open up the command prompt, so type in CMD and right click and choose run as administrator. Click on yes. And what you can do is copy and paste these in. So I've got two here. This is one of them is to disable the auto reboot. And there's another one here for an option to enable auto reboot should you wish to re-enable it at a later date. So obviously if you're going to do this, bookmark the video for future reference. But what we're going to do is we're going to highlight all of this text here. And we're going to copy that. And we're going to paste it into our command prompt. So essentially what we're doing here is telling the uh, HK local machine software policy is Microsoft Windows, Windows update slash AU. We're telling it to no auto reboot with logged in users. So essentially, if there is a user logged into the machine and it is active, then it will not reboot. And what it's telling the registry to do is to add the register D word as a decimal of one. So what we do is press enter and you should get the message there saying the operation completed successfully. So if you wanted to undo that change, all you need to do is to change the D on the end where it says D1 and change it to D0. So if you press the up arrow key and then go to where it says D, get rid of the one rather, change it to a zero, hit enter. And again, you should get the operation completed successfully. So to disable, you need the flag to be decimal point of one. And if you want to re-enable it, then the default key is set to zero. Now, other options you can do if you wanted to, you could go into active hours, just type in active, and then you can click on change active hours. And then in Windows update section here, you can click on advanced options. And one thing you could do is to move this tick box here. So it says here, restart the device as soon as possible when a restart is required to install an update. Windows will display a notice before the restart and the device must be on and plugged in. So if we click on that, change that to off. So then Windows won't restart the device as soon as possible, uh, but it will still try and do an auto reboot at some point. This flag here doesn't actually stop it from rebooting entirely, but it will defer it until the PC is unlikely to be in use. Now, another thing we can do here is we can change our active hours. So if we click on this, type in active hours in your settings, and here we got change active hours. So you can set active hours to let us know when you typically use this device. We won't automatically restart your device during this time. So if you turn this on, and then the current active hours are eight to five, turn it off and you can change that. So you can set it to whatever you want it to be. Essentially, I suppose if you wanted to, you could set your start time to be one minute away from the end time, and that may well actually disable it altogether, but I've not tried it, so I don't know for sure. So there you go, there's a way of 
well, two ways of doing it. Uh, also, you can do it via the registry. So if you type in regedit, and right click, run as administrator, click OK, and then we'll just go down and go to that key. So H key local machine, then into software, then scroll down to policies. And then Microsoft and Windows. Then we want Windows Update and then AU, which is automatic update. So there we go. There is the key that we were discussing earlier. So no auto reboot with logged in users and the D word currently is set to zero. So if you double click on the, uh, the tag there, change it to decimal, change your value data to one hit OK, and there we go, that's now changed it. So that does the same thing, so if you're not keen on kind of copying and pasting or adding registry entries from kind of unknown or dodgy websites or YouTubers, then you can go ahead and do it manually from this particular key. So there you go, there are some options to disable or prevent Windows automatically updating at uh, inconvenient times, or at all, in fact. So hopefully that's been useful to some of you out there. If it has, give the video a like, and don't forget to click on subscribe and the channel icon to get notified of all future content. But in the meantime, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews in How To, and hopefully we'll be catching you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.